This is Craig Tittle. Thanks, doll. And this is Trevor Brock. You have a good day. My c is fing massive. It always leaves the lady sore. Wow! <laughs> I, did, I just did not expect this movie. My two top salesmen. You two motherfuckers look like y'all could be twins. Uh, I don't think you actually see look very it. dissimilar. I don't think it's that tricky. I really don't. I think the audience is craving something entertaining. They want to laugh out loud. They want to sing along. Wow! We're twins. We're fucking identical twins. It gives you laughs. It gives you excitement. It gives you unpredictability and spontaneity and fantastic songs. I mean, what movie really give it? Oppenheimer doesn't give you that. <laughs> Set design, the set dressing. I think Evelyn's apartment is an incredibly, I mean, this, the set dressing in that apartment, I, I can't get over it. You know, I think it's funny, but we're, we're really, uh, uh, could be asking for trouble. Did I open another bottle? I know it's our second, but we're not Baptists. <laughs> and no one sings in Oppenheimer. That's no right. One Oppenheimer. No one sings about loving their dicks. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. <laughs> No, well, Oppenheimer we... obviously loved his, but that's a, you know, that's a good... <laughs> Wow. I, did, I just did not expect this movie. Uh, we didn't expect to great. see you here. Yeah. I know. We all can say wow. Yeah. Yes. And I wore the shirt just for you guys. I figured I'd look, I, I wanted to dress yes. up. Yes. Yeah. Very Trevor Crack. <laughs> You're giving Trevor. Where, how did this... Uh, this happened to fall into the big screen. How in, in your hands? How how did you guys come up with this and and bring it to theater? I'm curious. Like, what what was the what was the origin? Do you know what's yeah. crazy? I mean, it started as a two man show we were doing at the UCB Theater, which is in the basement of a grocery store. So we were doing it for like negative dollars. Yeah. But truly, we were just like. The parent trap is actually one where we could play the twins, then one of them meets the parent, I could play the parent. It we, came out of necessity. We, we, we wanted to do a two-person musical. It was like, how, how? Somehow that came up. We yeah, found that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's the like easiest way. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just learned something myself, actually. That's great, yeah. yeah. Life's a fucking hand job, and I only play to win. Oh, and then we were doing the show for a couple years, and... Um, People from Churnin Entertainment came and saw it, and they wanted to make it a movie, and, and we, we like, and we crazy. let them. <laughs> <laughs> and then A24 and Larry, and then everybody, you know, just became an avalanche, an avalanche of good fortune. And, and you have God. We have I mean, God. We have God. Yes. <laughs> we have God is in the room. God is in the room. Yeah. You know, they, we, we're in a time where there's a lot of people telling us what to do, what not to do. What is it tricky to to go this far and take a script? This far and, and really go there. You guys go there. I, think I don't see. We, yeah, I, I, you, you go, say, Larry. I, say, I don't think it's that tricky. I really don't. I think the audience is craving something entertaining. They want to laugh out loud. They want to sing along. Mm -hmm. You know, and this this movie has the content is sometimes you know obscene or you know uh, risky, but it delivers on this basic audience level. It gives you laughs. It gives you excitement. It gives you unpredictability and spontaneity and fantastic songs. I mean, what movie really give you? Oppenheimer doesn't give you that. <laughs> and that's in 86 minutes. 86 minutes you of You can watch this twice and Oppenheimer's still going. Yeah, yeah that's You're yeah. right. You are right. <laughs> and nobody gets killed. And no one sings in Oppenheimer. That's no right. One sings in Oppenheimer. right. No one sings about loving their dicks. Yeah. yeah. That's right. No, well, Oppenheimer we... obviously loved his, but that's a, you know, that's a <laughs> I think we know that by now. That's true. That's yeah. true. Should we drown him in the bathtub in the old fashioned way? Y'all fucked up. Are you played some interesting parents lately? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it about this character and, and, and a man obsessed with, you know, sewer boys and. Right. <laughs> what was it about it that you were like, yeah, this is something I need to do? I didn't think I needed to do it. <laughs> I didn't think that. <laughs> um, I didn't think, oh, just try and stop me. Um, I thought, uh, uh, I, I love Larry Charles. I loved, I've loved his work. I said I have to meet the two young men who wrote this and, and just see, you know, this is, this is a big ask. So I met them, and we had dinner, and the dinner went on for four hours, and uh, and I kind of, it, it sort of went it all, I kind of got it, and I thought, I like this, I like the, the, the chutzpah, the, 
the audacity of it all to you know it's like they're a part of a generation of young the younger uh, queer comics like like Julio Torres and mm. Bowen and and uh, Billy Eichner and and it's a it's a whole different attitude. If mom and dad got married again, then we'd have a real family. What if we trick them into getting back together? You guys are, you know, you're giving him the role of God. You're giving Megan, what, what a phenomenal performance from her. Nathan, how did you guys find the right cast, the right chemistry? For well, everybody? we sort of had our dream picks and they all said yes. I know. So I can't was... really explain how it happened, but every single person was like who we dreamed would do it. We wanted, there, it's, a, it's a specific tone, so we needed really specific comedic performers. And then we also wanted everyone to be able to actually sing. So like, you wouldn't sing have to get like, well. overdubbed to someone else. And there's really not that many people that can do that. And we are just, I'm pointing to the wall where they're behind, but we are we have just so um, <laughs> enamored with Nathan. Nathan and Megan for years, and Bowen's our old, old friend, and we know his phenomenal skill set. So we were just uh, very, yeah, we just got so and Sometimes lucky. that happens where the cast is just perfect, yeah. you know, and they feed off of each other and they seem all connected, and that was the case here. Everybody was, you know, you feel that cast could only be that cast. You couldn't imagine anybody else in Nathan's role or Megan's role yeah. or these guys yeah, yeah. or Bowen, yeah. you know, and I think that's a, another unique aspect of the movie. I can't imagine anyone else as God. Thank yeah, you exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. God in this uh, incarnation. Yeah, sure. definitely. Yes. I, I was honored. How do you, I mean, how do you, pro, what do you say? Okay, I'm playing God. What do you do? What, what are your, how do you approach that? I, I think, I was thinking of it as like him sort of delivering this narrative and the story and it, it must be important if he's telling the audience, hey, like, pay attention to these two people. <laughs> um, so, who, yeah, those two guys do think they're godlike. Yeah. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. There's a lot of people who have high esteem. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's very Old Testament, really. I mean, he's very volatile. Yeah. yeah. He's got a temper, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 He gets tired of things. He wants to have fun, you know. So, uh, yeah. you know, it's a very, it's a, it's a modern version of God, but very tied to the original, yeah. the original conception. He does get tired. He does want to, on the seventh day, God rests. Yeah. yeah. Eight, yeah. He did gay. <laughs> he did get <laughs> I'm gay. Queer is a three dollar bill and just as thin. Megan, you're hilarious in this. Uh, Thank it's you. always it funny. What how much did you add to this character? This character is wild. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Um I think I probably added a few things. Um <laughs> so I yeah, I I the the vocal thing, I definitely knew I wanted to do and I brought that in and I think there were you know mixed feelings about it from some of the higher ups shall we say and <laughs> yeah and I and I feel like we were also like really blessed by not only Larry Charles and the boys but we had the greatest um, costumes hair, makeup, yeah, yeah. Um, Valerie Cleric did the costumes, incredible. Yeah, so, great. Uh, and the set design, the set dressing. I think Evelyn's apartment is an incredibly, I mean, this, the set dressing in that apartment, I, I can't get over it. Did you say sewer boys? <laughs> disgusting. They're not disgusting, they're gay culture. Did either of you base this on these characters on anyone or is it just kind of, let's, this is a script? Um, no, it wasn't based on. <laughs> Not even the the sewer boys. Come his on. father no. used to keep yes. sewer boys in his apartment. Well, and you know the sewer the boys are like his version of rescue dogs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so he loves them and takes care of them. Yeah, he was very. Um, you know, in the sketch, Josh played the father, and Aaron played Evelyn. <laughs> and uh, Josh was Josh's version of Harris was very kind of. Um, was tougher, mm. was a, a little, uh, <laughs> a little colder, and I think you know I find Harris sort of endearing and and sort of sweet and naive about coming his coming out at mm. this late stage mm. of his life, <laughs> and not really understanding the gay life or even equating the sewer boys with gay culture and, um, <laughs> for some reason. Because um, I don't think he knows anything about gay culture. <laughs> Although he does have a Valentino cape. Um, anyway, no, it was just, you know, I just was inspired by the writing.
Oh. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to top Aaron's version of Evelyn because I thought it was really it good. It was really good. <laughs> you he did. did. You did. He yeah, was, was really... Like, oh, hmm. Well, he was really playing old, old. Old, old, old you yeah. You know, with a gray wig and a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>